right, so let's talk about what I came here to talk about, and that was my makeup. So many of you out there are more or less makeup experts. You watch the bloggers a lot. You've got your techniques and your routines down pat. I do my, my thing the same way every single time, but it may not necessarily be what you consider to be the right way. Like I want to look the way I want to look and apply it the way I want to apply it, what makes the most sense for me. So when I have a clean, fresh skin, just a blank slate, when I'm ready to put on a full face of makeup, the first thing I do is apply a little bit of this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. The color that I'm using is light, light uh, medium. Okay, this stuff is a miracle. I don't know how many of you there have used it, but honest to goodness, this is the holy grail of my makeup routine. I just need uh, just a couple of small beads of this to pat around. It'll cover up any imperfections in terms of like blotchiness and things like that. So it really does correct the color and it also covers up any, any blemishes or imperfections. So it occurred to me I'd better tell you what hair I'm wearing today. Um, I absolutely love this one. This one is Raquel Welch's Upstage in the color Shaded Biscuit RL1923SS. So once I've applied just a very light layer of this uh, IT Cosmetics CC Cream, I will go ahead and apply my foundation. And yes, I use my fingers. Some people use brushes, some people use beauty blenders, sponges, and that kind of thing. I use my fingers. I find that I use less product that way. Um, and so, and I use a drugstore makeup foundation. <laughs> I know, I know. There are some really good ones out there and you just have to find the right one for you. Um, so I use L'Oreal True Match and um, typically I would use neutrals. So I have a fairly neutral skin tone, but typically for most, the most part of the year, I will use uh, this L'Oreal True Match in N3. That's kind of like the, the stay of my foundation routine. Now what I will also do most of the time is add a little to a lot, uh, depending on the skin tone, of the N4, which is the beige. Now this will just, this is my kind of my adapter um, foundation where I can add just a wee tiny touch or a couple drops depending on how much I need. But these two together make up my foundation routine. So what I'll do is I'll just dab a little bit in the palm of my hand and then I'll do one side of my face at a time. And I'll usually blend in from the middle to the out, okay? And I use my fingers just to kind of blend it in. And I find that I use less product that way. It goes a little, it goes a little farther for me. I think the, the finish on this foundation is just amazing because it gives you just a little bit of a satiny look but powdery and matte at the same time. All right, so then, now, once I have on my foundation, my CC cream and my foundation, I will take a little bit of uh, pressed powder here. This is CoverGirl True Blend in the color, it's trans translucent light. This isn't really to add color, but what I want to do is matte down around my eyes. So I'll mat down around my eyes, getting ready to apply my eyeshadow. I know, a lot of you might apply your eyeshadow before you apply your foundation because of you know the the, the shake off and the spray and stuff. Um, this is just the way I love to do it because I feel like the foundation gives me a really nice base for my eye makeup routine. Okay, so on to the eyes. This is, I get questions about the eyes a lot. Um, all right, so once I have that, like that perfect blank slate for my eyes, I will add just a little bit of a wash color. The one that I prefer comes from my rose gold palette from Ulta. I've had this one for a couple of years. Um, and so I just, I just use a very neutral rosy tone like this breathless here and after tapping the brush I will just go through the all over the lid and up right onto the brow bone. Now if you notice I have deep set eyes. Okay. 
I do not like to take a bold color up on my uh, up on the bone, on the eyebrow bone. It just makes it way too dramatic. My eyes seem to disappear. So by simply taking a very neutral wash color right up to the brow bone, it gives me a little bit of color and highlight without going with a strong, bold color. Okay, so I don't pull all of my looks from one palette. I wish I could have a palette with just every single thing that I need. Unfortunately, as you all know, it doesn't work like that. All right. So if there's anything that I have learned from a makeup tutorial, it has been this. This has been a tip that I've learned along the way that has made the most impact on my, my eye makeup routine. And that is to tight line my eyeliner. Um, when you get older, you lose pigment in the skin and the, the eyebrows and the, um, you know, the eyelashes and so forth. And so it's very important to, to get some, some good framing for the eyes without thick, heavy eyeliner look, right? That's not very uh, useful for, an, uh, for more mature makeup application. So what I do, I'm using this Ulta Beauty Cream Eyeshadow Liner in Cup of Joe, which is just a really dark brown, okay? So it looks like a crayon on the top. Okay, so what I do with that is I pull up and I go right along the waterline on the top, okay? Just do a couple swipes there. Then what I do, because this is such a thick emollient tip, is I kind of smash it up into my eyebrow line, my lash line. I smash that color up there. Now what that does, it gives you kind of a tight lining effect where you get the nice bold framing for the eyes without having a big thick eyeliner look. Okay, so this is a must that I use all the time and I love the, the fat head on that. I just, it's so easy to apply and it doesn't smudge or run off. Now what I do though is I'll, I will use a thinner pencil. This is the Ulta Gel Eyeliner in the color Mink. And that's what I'll do. To, I will line the bottom lash line slightly. Um, I come from the corner in and I stop about halfway. I don't, I want to accentuate and bring out my eyes. My eyes are, um, they're deep set and they're more narrow set. So I really want to focus on the outer corner of my eye for the framing. Um, so in the bottom lash line, I just use this. All right. So this has been a little miracle for me too. Um, and you learn your own tips and tricks as you go along. This is Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Okay, it's a color black, a liquid liner with a very, very fine feltish tip. I'll tell you how I use that. Um, I never ever used lashes, like strip lashes in my life. Um, and when I first started to do videos and I was watching back and I was like, wow, it doesn't look like I have much makeup on because the camera, you really need to pile on some makeup in order to, to make it look like you have something on, um, on camera for some reason. So my eyes were kind of disappearing in all of that. So I really wanted to do something to um, give my eyes a little more definition. And there is nothing in the world that does that as well as fake lashes. So I'm going to go through the lashes that I use here in a moment. But this is where the liquid eyeliner comes in. So I trim my lashes. I trim them so they only go about two-thirds of the way over. So I trim the inner corner of the lashes. They're always too long for me. But what that does is that leaves kind of a blank space there between where the lash lets off and the inner corner of my eye. This is where the uh, liquid liner comes in. So I'll take it just from almost the inner corner and I'll bring it up to where the, the, uh, the part of the lashes start, okay? So that makes it look a little more seamless. It looks like part of the lash. In fact, <clears throat> lashes aren't perfect. I hate them, I hate them. Applying them and so forth, what a pain in the neck they are. Um, but you can't, like I say, beat that look. So. <clears throat> it's not a perfect application every time. If you've, ever, if you've ever fought with lashes before, you understand what I'm saying. Like, well, if you get it right, you better leave it alone because <laughs> a lot of the times you don't get it right when you first try to apply them. Um, so once I apply them, if there's any like skips or gaps, um, you know, 
if they're not perfectly lined up with that upper lash line, I will use this tip felt eyeliner to fill in those little areas. So it looks like I did it right. So it's just a little bit of a fake tip there um, that I always, always use. Okay, so I have my wash color on my eyes for eyeshadow. I'm taking it up on the brow line. I have my eyeliner completely done at this point. All right, so then I start with the uh, layering of the eyeshadow colors. So my favorite palette in the whole world is this Tarte, Tartlet palette. And I think it's, um, and I'll try to link it with Ulta below. A lot of these products that I'm using and exploring today, you will find in my Amazon store in the link below the video, the makeup, anything that you can basically get at the drugstore. I'm not an affiliate of Ulta or Sephora or any of those. Um, so I will try to find the link though for this particular palette because it's unnamed. I looked all over for the name here and I couldn't find it. Um, but it's like blooming, blooms too, or something like that, but basically neutrals. So I'll just use a really thin brush like this, and I don't even know if I'm using the right brushes. It makes no difference to me, it works, and it works great. Um, so I'm gonna start with the outer corner of my eye just to draw a little bit of definition. And I generally use this multitasker color here, which is a very dark brown, and it's a very thin, brush there and I will start at the outer corner or the actually about halfway through the eye and I will come up and draw a, a line all the way up through to the outer outer V and I'll draw a fairly thick line and make sure that it's well defined and so forth okay um, because I am going to go back over that a couple of times so what I do is I use this kind of fat brush there and I will kind of smoke that out a little bit. I will blend it and smoke that outer V. And so at that point, it's really well defined. So layering of the eyeshadows to me works so much better. So the next thing I do is like my all over color of the lid, all right? And there's basically two colors that I like to use on this palette, and it's Power Player, which is more of a dark taupe, the bottom, and then more of a row, a deeper rose. Um, Best Friend is the name of that one. I uh, will use one of the two. Uh, now today I have on the Power Player, which is the taupe, which is this color here, as an all-over base. So with the inner corner, I like to take. Um, I like to take a highlight color, a very light highlight color. In this case, I use uh, this color called Super Mom. I always use that color, so I'll just dip, tap, and um, when I go through, I bring it. I bring it up about a quarter of the way through the eye, and I also bring it down because my eyes are really deeply inset. I bring it down into that inner corner, quite far out because it. Um, eliminates shadows and things so it sort of hi highlights that area and then I also take it up this bone here and under the eyebrow so at this point the eyeshadow portion is done and then I go ahead and apply my mascara um, so I only apply mascara of just a thin just a thin coating on that upper lash only um, I find that if I try to go to the outer corner of that bottom lash, it generally smudges and makes it look um, just overdone. So right now, I'm using Tarte Man Eater Mascara in the color black. I like this because it's, um, it's not too goopy. Um, it separates, makes it full, but just gives a nice natural look. I also really like the um, the better the Too Faced Better Than Six one, but it's really a goopy, heavy formula, and I love the look of it, but it's just a mess. Um, I would rather use something a little cleaner and a little um, just a little more minimal. When I really like this Man Eater by Tarte. Okay, so at this point, my eyes are done except for the lashes, and now what I do is I take the end of a Q-tip, I just lick it 
a brand new clean Q-tip. I just lick it a couple times and pat around under the eye to catch any kind of uh, fallout from the eyeshadow. Um, I just press down lightly. I don't smudge it just in case there's anything there. Now, if it's an obvious mistake and there's a bunch, you know, I'm getting some makeup remover and kind of taking it off and starting over again. So once I have completed that, that is when I use my concealer. I know that's odd, isn't it? Usually you use it when you put your foundation on, but I like to use it after my eye makeup is on because this is a really good highlighter and it sort of makes a lot of neat definition um, to the eye color. So if the eye color is not exactly right, you can kind of cover up with the concealer. Um, but I use this Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the color Light Neutral, or Light Natural, let's see. I need my readers. Light Neutral, okay? And this is the best, the best concealer I have ever found, okay? I will dab in, just dot all along underneath the eye, down and around the nose, okay? as close to the nose and the eye as I can. All right, I'll just make a few dots. Then that's when this lovely brush comes in. So what I do is I feather it out. So I kind of make sure that it's well blended up near those features, but then I feather it out on both sides, okay? And then I go ahead and dot some concealer around the mouth and again feather it out okay and then whatever's left on the brush I just take it up and feather it out up my nose and right there on my forehead so I want to talk a little bit about my brows my brows were something I hated I always hated my brows uh, they came in too far they didn't quite connect into a unibrow but I felt like it um, and you know, the techniques that I was using years ago weren't good, you know, with the arch, no. I, I just go straight across underneath now to shape and form the brow. Um, it might be because of my age, but my brows are becoming a little more sparse. They were really thick, dark, and heavy when I was younger. Um, but I love this device. This is called the Flawless Brows. Okay. All I do is I start here and I work my way across in more of a horizontal type line underneath and it works miracles. It, it just really shapes the brows so nicely. It tweezes basically at the same time. Actually, it's just shaving. It's not tweezing. Um, but I, my routine has gotten so much easier and I get better looks by using this thing than I ever did with tweezers. But depending on what I need, a lot of times I don't do anything else. I just make sure that they're well manicured and that's all I do. Um, but when I'm during the times where I need a little extra color in the brow or if uh, they look a little sparse to me, I love this Brow Precise Micro Pencil by Maybelline. Okay, so it's a, like a spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other. So what I do is I always brush them up. And then I'll just fill in just little, little short strokes. Very light short strokes with some color. And then I'll go back in and brush one more time and then just take a solid stroke from inner to outer. And that's all I ever need to do with my brows. So the next thing I do is I work on the rest of my face. There's a few things that I've discovered that I really love. This is the Hula uh, by Benefit. It's called the Quickie Contour Stick. Okay. So this is so easy for me to do my contouring. So basically what I do is I make a sideways T like I will go down and then underneath the bone and only about out to here, up the, underneath the cheekbone. So I'll go down and then under here. And then I will take a beauty blender, okay? And I'll blend that all in. And then when it's left over, I'll drag it down. I'll drag it down my cheekbone there, 
okay? I do that on both sides. Now the other thing that I will do is that I will take that same contour stick and just do a thin line all around my hairline, okay? And I do all of this before I put wigs on, but, and then I blend that in right along the hairline. So, so I do some contouring. The last thing that I do, <clears throat> and I've done one of two things, um, is I just do a bit of highlight. We well, don't want to say highlighting because that implies like a, a highlighter on the skin. And I don't do that. But I do, uh, I do some illuminating, let's put it that way. I've got this Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. Okay. So it's just a bronzer, kind of a, a bronzer illuminator. And I use, I think they call this a kabuki brush. Anyway, I put there, put it, put a little bit of product on and then just follow that contour line a couple of times. Okay, and then just blend it in. So that gives it a nice overall blended look and feel. And then the last thing I do, and I absolutely love this, this is It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow. I like more of a pink based one, so you'll see that it just kind of is ombre look. You know, it kind of goes from a bronzer to a blusher to a highlighter all in one. And I just do a couple of swipes with my brush shake it off and then this is something that I just do an E like E E and this time I go above the cheekbone slightly instead of below it um, because I want to give it a little bit of blush just a little bit of flush and color um, on the cheeks and on the forehead okay sorry guys I totally forgot about the lips and I get so many questions so I just outline uh, just a very slim line of the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the color Nude, and then I fill in with one of two colors. Typically, I will use the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm Shears in the color 270, and it's not listed here, but I think it's called Coco Twist. It's more of a nude color. Or I will use the Tarte Lippy Lingerie in the color Whisper, which is always a, is, which is also a very nude shade. All right, so the last thing I'll talk with you about with my like my full face makeup routine are my lashes. I get a lot of questions about lashes, and again, I have a love hate relationship with lashes. I love the look, and I hate applying them. Um, most of the time I will use whatever is sort of ready, readily available at the store. And it just occurred to me, I used my last, my last couple lashes off of this card here. Um, but this is Kiss, Kiss Lashes and the uh, model is called Shy. And so I'd like to select a lash that isn't too, too bold, you know, isn't too thick. Um, a nice natural looking lash uh, density um, and I find that Kiss lashes are pretty good. I've also used Ardell lashes but there is one thing that I won't waver on and that is this Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Okay. I love this stuff. It takes so little product. Um, when I first started I thought I had to just really slather that lash glue on to make sure that it stuck good and it was in my eyes and it was burning and so forth and that was <laughs> not fun not fun um, so what I have realized now is that all I need is just a small bead um, of glue on the outer on the inner lash and maybe one in the middle that's all I need and I really do let it sit after I apply the lash glue I let it sit um, Oh gosh, it seems like forever. It's probably only 30 seconds or so. Um, just so that that glue becomes tacky so it doesn't tend to run. Um, and I apply the lash and that's still in plenty of time that if I need to reposition the lash if it didn't go on right the first time, um, that I can do that. But I really love this lash glue and I put a very, very small amount on. Seems to do the trick for me. Now I told you that I trim my lashes. I trim the inner corner. Um, they're always too long for me. And I feel like that also helps with the longevity of the lashes. I wear, I wear my lashes at least three times, three applications for the same lashes. I know that's my, might not be the most hygienic thing, um, 
but I'm just getting the most out of for my money, right? And I find that it works for me and I've never had any problem. Um, but by, by applying just a minimum of glue, I'm easily able to get a few wearings out of them. Um, so I feel like it extends the life of my uh, lashes as well. Okay guys, that's the it. That's been my makeup routine. And a look at some cute little wig products today. And also a look at the Upstage by Raquel Welch, which I love. Lovely, lovely, lovely style. Everybody have a super terrific day. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.